All right. I think we left off. Uh, we just finished cleaning this, and uh, I was going to polish this up, and uh, it did. I wire wheeled it, and it came out real nice. And then I, I even put on a buffing wheel, and uh, it came out came out even better. So. All right. When I was thinking of doing this, I was actually wondering to myself, you know, how am I gonna, how am I gonna center that? Because there's really nowhere to put uh, any kind of rulers or implements or something like that. But because uh, everything's in a way, and it's rounded and stuff. And then I was thinking about that for weeks. And then I take this thing off here, and it already has a center made up for me here. So all I have to do is uh, center punch that. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll drill a pilot hole. And then I'll probably cut this nub off and then uh, come at it from the top. I think we need a 7 16 uh, hole for that uh, little pipe there. Alright, let me do that. Alright, I'm pretty close to center there. I got us clamped down here pretty good because uh, brass is pretty tough to, uh, to drill. Everybody thinks because it's soft it's easy to drill, but if uh, you don't have the right drills, which are like zero rake, you know, then then these these will grab, and uh, I don't have zero rake uh, bits, so I'm going to try and take this slow. And if it grabs, it'll probably snap that drill because it's so tiny. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Like I said, I'll probably cut this off because that's about the same size hole we're going to need. Uh, I'm going to shut these off and because uh, I'm going to take my time with this. Uh, and maybe when I get towards the end, I'll put you back on. Alright, seems to be doing okay. Should almost be through. Go. Alrighty. Let me flip these over. Alright. Just as I suspected, uh, these, these drills are too sharp for this kind of stuff. It actually, I had this all clamped down and everything, and it actually just grabbed that and, and twisted it. And so what I'm gonna do is uh, this I'm gonna I'm gonna grind this little titty off so I only have to go through maybe uh eighth of an inch or three eighths of an inch. Not even that, maybe a quarter of an inch. So I'm, I'm gonna get the Dremel out and then cut this thing off. Okay, I was able to cut that off. Don't touch it, it's hot, be careful. It's still hot. And now, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try and drill that, but I'm gonna go with increments, you know? I'll, I'll start with a quarter inch and then uh, go three eighths and uh, just keep getting bigger and bigger because uh, I, don't, I don't want that same thing to happen. Yeah, these uh, Dremels are underrated, you know, I mean, uh, I do a lot with this thing. It's almost brand new, and you can, you can tell how beat up it is because I use it so much. I started out with the regular uh, cutoff wheel, but then uh, it ripped out the center, so I had to, had to try the diamond bit. And uh, that did the trick. All right, let's put it back on the drill and... Uh, Try and get a hole in that thing. Uh, the quarter wasn't too bad, and actually, I think it's a little, little smaller than a quarter. And uh, now we'll go with uh, the 9:30 seconds here and see how that works. All right, we got that hole through. It actually grabbed it and uh, and made it start spinning, you know. So I, I clamped it down a little harder, and it did. So uh, maybe I'm taking too big a bite, but uh, I think maybe I'll try to unit bit now. It might 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 be worse, might be better, but. Uh, I'm going to try it. All right, it seems to be working uh, pretty well there. I'm going to tell you a funny story here. I, I, the, last, the last hole I was drilling here, 
didn't seem like it was working, you know, it was just real hard and everything like that, but what was happening, uh, my drill was bottoming out, it wasn't going all the way through, so that was my fault, I had to raise the the plate up here. Alright, let's try it. Oh, my arm in your way? Sorry about that. There we go, just went for another one. Well, these are made for sheet metal, but uh, seems to be doing all right. Matter of fact, I think it's doing too well. Let me measure that hole. Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably bigger than I need it. But that was my fault because it was uh, drilling so well. Okay. By drilling this hole oversized by accident there, it actually uh, helped me out because for some reason that hole wasn't uh, isn't in the center. It's close. It's close, but it's uh, not in the center. don't know how that happened, but it happened. But anyway, this, this pipe goes in here, and then you got this little thing on top. You know? So, with that being bigger than it should be, I could actually move that to the center. Okay, but here's another dilemma I have, and uh, that's actually going to help too. Alright, now here's my other dilemma. I got an old lampshade here, it's, it's all cracked and stuff, but uh, it's good enough for what we're using it for. And I put this top on here, but if we just put this on and sit it flat, like that, I gotta hold this in place. Then you're not going to see the top. You're not going to see that brass, you know. And that's a key feature of the fire extinguisher. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to raise it about four inches there. And let me put you down for a second. All right. I put a can there, and that can is four inches. So if I raise that four inches and sit that right about there. That'll show the handle and everything. Maybe maybe three inches. We'll start with four. We could always cut it shorter. But anyway, I found I found a piece of chrome here. I say it was off an old shower, but it's a, it's a piece of brass, chrome plated. And I'm going to cut that and just raise that. I'm going to cut that four inches and just raise that so you can see the handle. All right, let me uh, let me cut the other hole in the bottom, and then we'll mess with the with the mounting bracket there. All right, I got it upside down here now, and actually, it's got a piece of metal here, and it's right in, right in the way of where I got to uh, drill because I, I want to get center. But uh, what that is, that's the handle for when you used to turn it upside down and and pound it upside down. So you're never going to need this handle again. So let me cut that out of the way. Actually. The first way I was going to do this was uh, I was just going to put all the the stuff in the in, on the, the lid here, and what, I wasn't going to run the the threaded rod all the way through, but it, it's so cheap I might as well. Then I could have just uh, hooked everything up to the lid here and just thrown a wire through, and I could have just put a hole anywhere and uh, put a grommet in there. I got plenty of grommets, but uh, like I say. That rod was only five hours, so I'm going to use the whole thing. Hey, right, let me cut this off. All right, let me show you how we're going to find the center here. I cut this uh, handle out. We don't need that. All right, what I did is uh, I measured across here, and that's uh, seven inches. So what I did is I got one of these uh, grade school compasses. Uh, I probably had it since grade school, if I know myself. You know, it's a cheap one. Matter of fact, I even had to tape it to keep it from sliding and stuff like that, but it's good enough. And I taped this Sharpie to it. And then, I figure half of seven is three and a half. So I, uh, I'm trying to stay in frame here. I put this a little over three and a half, about uh, three and three quarters or so. But anyway, I got this taped out here so we can actually see what's going on. Now what I'm going to do is just going to set the point on the end here and make an arc. 
and spin it around. Make another arc. And then spin it around here. And then spin it around again. Now, if everything worked out, this should be our center. We're pretty close. Let me see, I got a, a ruler around here. Let me mark off three and a half. We got. I'm gonna mark it over right here while you're looking. That's three and a half. So it's actually pretty close. It's right in the center there. Try over here. It's right in the center. Over here. It's right in the center again. So. So that's, uh, that's about as close as we're going to get. Alrighty, let's drill a hole. Alright, got a pilot hole in here, so uh, let me go, let me get a little bigger. This one here I'm going to make almost perfect. This hole, I'm going to use the regular drills. Alright, well I got the drills out, I might as well put the, the hole in the back. Here's the, here's the front. The front's always, it's always going to be facing the front. So, directly behind here, right at the seam, there's a seam here. That's uh, dead center in the back. I'm going to put one of these grommets. I was looking at the reflection. It's funny how that it's, uh, it's almost like a mirror. But anyway, uh, that's like about a... Looks to be a half inch. So uh, maybe I'll draw a 3 8 hole. Okay. Alright, that worked out well. These wires will fit right in there. Okay. My battery's getting a little low here, it says three minutes, so let me go change the battery and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. You guys are all charged up. Alright, I got this chrome piece. Like I said, I cut it to four inches. But, uh, let me come over here. Here you go. But what I think I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to cut it down to three inches because with uh, this finial or whatever this thing is called, that uh, thing on the bottom, is, it's going to add another inch. So, instead of raising it up, I'll, I'll just make it three inches. Alright. All right, it's time to cut this uh, thread rod here. Uh, this little finial, I even cut the bottom of it. I uh, hit it on a grinder here, so it sort of uh, fits into this uh, chrome piece here. But uh, we're gonna want, I'm gonna want to cut it right about here, right about the middle of this thing, because you got another threaded rod that you're gonna stick through there. So I got, uh, I got some extra rod on the bottom there, so I could either come down or up if I have to. So, uh, this really isn't too critical, but you want to get as close as you can. Uh, let's cut that. Alright, now we got the part of the socket, the bottom half of the socket. And we got this uh, other little piece of threaded rod here. I'm just going to stick this in here and drive that up as far as it'll go, and it'll come to a stop. And then actually, there's a screw on the side. And just put a little, a little tightness on there. And then, this goes on here, this holds your uh, little wire that holds a shade. And then we just stick this in here. And tighten that down. Okay, there we go. Alright. Okay. I'm ready to put the wire in, but before I shove the wire in, I'm going to show you something down here because you'll be able to see it better than uh, up top. Yeah, what you got to do when you, after you run the wire through and everything, what you have to do is put a they call it a, an underwriter's knot, and it's a, it's a very simple knot. But uh, let me show you how. Uh, hold up. All right, sorry about that. But anyway, what you need is an underwriter's knot, and all it is is you take this and loop it. Let me try and make sure you see this. Loop it behind the back here, and this other one loops around the back of that wire, and you send this one through there. Make sure it's in there, make sure you stay there. And this one comes through here. And then what you do is you pull them tight. It's like a, a bow. But uh, that's what's called an underwriter's knot, and that just keeps everything from uh, pulling through the, the line there. 
Okay, I did that down here so you you, you see it better. All right, let me shove this wire up through. All right, put the light socket here now. What you want to do is uh, push this bottom half out. Try and stand frame here. And this so uh, this will actually come out of this little cardboard thing. And then you get your screws here, and uh, you just hook your two wires up to that. All right. All right. You got your underwriter's knot in there. Now you just take your wires and wrap them around counterclockwise, and uh, put this back on. Put your cardboard back on. And then your piece of fake brass here. Put that back on. Are you guys in the frame? There you go. And then you can just pull. Pull the wire from the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. And then uh, I'm just setting there. I'll just push in there. All right. We're locked in now. Okay. I move you down here to the floor. We're getting too high. I would have been shooting up into the, the lights. So uh, we're gonna take uh, this little wire hanger here, and this uh, this just clips in here. Squeeze it together, and you're in there, and then these little things come down. All right, now we're going to get our uh, $2 LED. Stick that in there. Like I said, it's a three-way switch, and I, I wanted a regular switch, but this will be okay. Plastic. I'll throw this on here for now. I'm going to go out to and buy a new one. There you go. I'm gonna take it inside now and give it a smoke test. Like I say, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep this lampshade. I'm gonna go buy another one. And when I get that, I'll know whether I want to lower that anymore or not. So, all right, let's go smoke test it. All right, there you go. Not look too bad. Like I said I'm gonna change the shade so uh, it look a little better. But uh, Rogue Queen's gonna have a fit. All right. Enough of this.